Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm going to be doing your daily reading for August 18th, 2021. Okay, I already have one card out here because I had to stop recording. So we had the big happy changes here. So this is in regards to a relationship, okay? This is in regards to a partnership. This is romance. This is what the focus of the daily reading is today. And so we're going to take a look at a lessons, soul lessons card to see, get some clarification on this big happy changes. All right. I like it. Okay. So we have self-esteem. I like that with the big happy changes. So maybe there has been some change here in your self-worth, how you're seeing yourself, how you're presenting yourself to the world. This is coming across strongly. If you're single, this is great because now you're learning how to appreciate yourself, love yourself more so you can attract the right type of partner. If you're in a relationship, this may be you really being more grounded, being more independent within the relationship, right? Because you don't want to lose yourself inside of relationships but it says, I, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Can you see that? There you go. All right. And let me pull some romance angels here. Let's see. All right. Give us one or two cards. Spirit for the Aries Collective. What do they need to see? Pugsley is snoring over there. He just learned how to get on the couch now. So he's big time. So let's see here. All right. So we have this could be the one. Okay, Aries. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Let's get one more card here. At the bottom of the deck, I see attraction. One more card here for the Aries. All right. Oh, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path here. So this could be a few things. This could be sometimes this, it presents itself as the lover's energy, a very spiritual connection. <clears throat> your other half, your divine counterpart. This could also be somebody here who is on the same spiritual soul journey as you. You you are like in the same place and you meet each other because of course you cross paths. At the bottom of the deck, we still have attraction. Okay, so there's probably a very strong attraction as well between you two. Um, and you find that that really draws you in as well amongst other things, not just, you know, physical attraction, but all kinds of attraction. All right. So let's see here. What is going on for Aries, August 18th, 2021? All right. Thank you. All right. So let's see what's going on here for the Aries. Beautiful. Well, said big happy changes. We have the sun. Sun is illuminating here. This reading is starting off very positive. Sun talks about new beginnings. Okay, positive energy here. Sometimes it could be births as well. All right, this is just really being, something being, could be also be illuminated as well, but this is very positive energy and it's right under the big happy changes. I see the fool, I see the, wow, I see the six of wands, I see the nine of cups. Aries, you're heading into a very beautiful new direction here and it has to do with how you're seeing yourself. This has to do with your self-esteem, right? How you're coming across, how you're presenting yourself to the world, right? People are seeing you differently because you see yourself differently. And that's very beautiful. So what may be some challenges here in this situation? All right. So we have the strength card, more Leo energy here. The sun is Leo energy as well, but the strength here talks about holding back. We're going to talk about that card. Let me pull some more first here. What is advice from spirit? Wow. And it, exactly what I was going to talk about too. The emperor here is the advice from spirit. Wow. So far, three major arcanas. Aries, this is really big. This is a very pivotal, pivotal mo moment in your life. I can't even get it out. And there it is. The lovers. I mean, you couldn't pull any better. You couldn't pull better cards. You could not. And I said that I said the religious factor cards represents the lovers to me in the deck. Okay. 
but you couldn't pull better cards than this. I'm going to clarify, but this is just, wow, this is amazing. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the two of swords here. So there may have been in the past, there may have been some sort of blockage in the past, but I'm not seeing that anymore. I am not seeing that anymore. This is a very positive reading. What I was going to say here with this strength card being in the challenge position, that might have been the blockage for you in the past, is not really letting the world see the real you, kind of stifling who you are, stif which also stifles your potential, which also kind of puts you in a bottle. And that's kind of the that phrase I was thinking when this card came out. Um, what is that phrase? Um, uh, like, don't bottle yourself up for other people. What is it? Or don't dim your light. Don't dim your light to make other people feel comfortable, right? Don't shrink yourself. It's something like that. Don't shrink yourself to make other people feel big, right? And I feel like, Aries, this is not that challenge for you. You may have been kind of holding back a lot of your gifts, a lot of your energy, a lot of your potential because you're bright. <laughs> I mean, you know, who better me, than me to say it, tell you that? You're bright. Another Aries, right? Aries sometimes can get like that. If you don't really know who you are or not, if you're not comfortable, right? We do have the self-esteem. If you're not comfortable with who you are, that tends to happen with some Aries because we have the tendency to not want to overshadow people, but that's really, that's not your problem, right? You know, everybody's going to shine bright as brightly as they feel comfortable. So this is a message here for someone. If you're not in this energy, it's time for you to get into this energy because it is, it's attracting someone here. It's attracting your divine counterpart with the religious factors. This is attracting your other half. Okay. This could be the one. So, and I feel like it all comes to do with how you're carrying yourself, your self-esteem. Let me show you these cards again. We have the sun, the strength card, the emperor, there you are, Aries. Exactly what I'm saying the challenge is. This is the advice from spirit. Be you. Step into your power, your energy. Get on your throne. Don't let anybody dim your light, right? It's okay. You don't, you can be humble and still be, you know, you, right? You know, I'm not saying be obnoxious. I'm not saying, you know, put yourself in front of anyone else. All I'm saying is be proud to be you, okay? Because somebody is going to see that and somebody's going to feel that energy. So let's clarify. Not that these cards need much clarification, but it might give us a little bit more insight here of what is to come. Wow, I love this for you. I love this for me. <laughs> I love this. All right. So let's see here. What is the sun? Wow. Told you. The sun, two of cups is clarifying the sun straight out the gate. So this is going to be a very, very beautiful connection. There you are again, Aries showing a very, very beautiful connection. We have the sun, we have, we have the two of cups and the lovers, two soulmate cards, right? I really love the two of cups though, because it's the energy of you fill my cup, I fill your cup. It's a very balanced love. It's a balanced connection, right? Kind of sometimes opposites attract, doesn't always have to be, but whatever I don't have, you have. And that's kind of like how a very um, oh, sorry, so message came through. That's how relationships are supposed to be. You always find, um, when relationships tend to go sour or south or however you want to say it, you find that it's usually because it's imbalanced, right? One person is giving more and other person's taking more, receiving more. Um, and that's when things get out of whack, but this two of cups re represents balance and harmony in a relationship. So what is the strength card here? All right, so the Eight of Wands. So Aries, like I said, this is you no longer holding back. Maybe you're even getting the confidence to move forward, yeah, to communicate to somebody. Page of page of coins here. So or this could be somebody who's getting the power, the strength to come towards you, right, and communicate. But there's going to be messages, a lot of them, text messages, you know, emails, DMs, something. Somebody's getting some sort of communication from someone now. Probably because, you know, you're feeling a little better. You're looking a little better. You're taking care of yourself. And when I say feeling, looking better, I'm not saying it in a, um, I'm not saying it in an egotistical way. I'm just saying that you are taking care of yourself from the inside out and it's showing, you know, like a glow on the outside. So let's see here. What is the emperor? The king of cups. 
All right, Aries. So Cancer Scorpio Pisces here, you could be connecting with. But I feel like Aries, because you are so independent and strong, you are able to show love. It's not a sign of weakness coming from you. Some people don't like to be in their emotions because it's a sign of weakness, but it's, this is showing that you are so balanced within yourself. You can still have that power, that leadership role. You can still have that strength and still show your soft side, right? And with, by doing that, you're attracting somebody here. This could be the person that you're attracting here who's also very mature and very strong in their emotions and not afraid to communicate. We have the Page of Wands here again underneath the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be leading to a relationship, a partnership. What do we have here for the lovers? Wow, the death card. So this is this is big, Aries. This is a very transformative love here. The lovers and the death card here, this is a transformation. The death card represents something ending, so something new can begin. So I'll clarify one more time here for the death card so we can see. Wow, the empress is here. Emperor and the empress. And I said that this could be a divine connection. What do we have here for the death card? Yes, the Four of Swords and the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there has been some healing, Aries. You have been going through some big changes, healing yourself through a past connection here or just healing yourself through some past BS, which is leading you to some big transformation and leading to you to also meet somebody new here. This is def I mean, you can't twist this any kind of way with the lovers and the two of cups. This is definitely a new relationship coming to you. And this could definitely be the one here. Okay. So I'm going to leave you with a guardian angel card. Oh, I don't know if that was ready, but let's see. All right. What card here does Aries need to see? What card does Aries need? What do we need to leave? Wow, so many cards. Oh, we have three. Let me put these back. There's too many cards flipped over. Give me one card, Spirit. One card. These cards are really hard to shuffle. There we go. I think the, st the same card came out. Okay, so we have star. I like that. Believe in yourself. You are a wonder of creation. Wash away all fear and discover you are a shining star. Allow all around you to just be. Let go of trying to control life for the light of your soul will guide you always towards love. Remember, stars are born through explosions of love. Love illuminates all things. And never forget you are truly a shining star. So Aries, somebody is seeing you that way, right? You're being recognized. I think it's all this good self-esteem energy, this high vibrating energy. Somebody sees you like a star and you are very shining bright here, right? The sun is a big star here. So that is coming through very strongly. This is a great reading, okay? So I hope this resonated with somebody and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.